What's up, Throttle? What happens when you want to take an F80 and you want to make it practical yet sexy? But it's sizzling, but not hot. <laughs> well, keep on watching, because today you're in for a ride. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nadine, the co-founder of Throttle, and today I'm in sunny San Jose with my buddy Herb. Hey there, so I'm Herb, and this is my 2015 BMW M3, and I'll walk you through what I've done to the car and what I have in it, so let's go for a ride. Sounds good. So I know a lot of your car is stock, but let's talk about the front lip, because that's one of the things I know you modded, right? Yes, so okay. this is the PSM front lip, and this is actually an authentic lip. Um, as you can see, it is actually quite busted. It is very authentic. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a lot of bumps and scratches along the way. It's got its own character. <laughs> I so. like that. And you've continued on that theme of the carbon fiber throughout the car, haven't you? Correct, correct. So I have the side diffuser by RW, and I also have the uh, M Performance carbon fiber mirror cap which makes it kind of like that uh, European exotic look. This is one of my favorite parts, and I'm not part of the big Wang gang. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a rear lip spoiler from Din Man. Um, it doesn't obstruct the view when I'm driving. Yeah. And also, I lace it up with the obsessed sticker back here, which is black. Oh, yeah. It's I very subtle. Like. You can very, barely see it. Yeah, it's going kind of through my theme of like, dark and clean and subtle and this is what the car basically is right okay. and so down here you can see this is the vorsteiner lip oh, our gorgeous. our friends down south actually gave this to us for a very good cost um it's because they were phasing out some of their extra stock and so they're like hey you want to rock it i'm like yeah let's go for it it kind of puts the whole thing in, you know the rear you can totally see it not only that, look at it highlighting your exhaust. Right, with the big tips. <laughs> so these are, is the Remus exhaust system. Yeah. And so these are the carbon 102, I believe, tips. Yep. And this is the um, axle back. So underneath I have the active auto work mid pipe. Okay. So I deleted the secondary cats. So that's why I have that like little fart tune when I actually press on the gas. Which is pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. So back in the other video, you and Christian mentioned that you're like one of the first people to put in the skull wheels here in the Bay Area, right? Actually, we are the first ones in the United States. Oh wow, really? Yeah. So yeah. where are they located then? So they are in Vancouver. Oh, place I know quite well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the skull wheels in Swedish means cheers. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And so their design is kind of like a bottle cup. You can see like right around here, you see the little um, indents. Oh. And so the style wheels that they go for are the ones that you see in older Ferraris and older cars. When I ordered these, I wanted them to be half exposed. So this would actually have like at least 30 holes all around. Oh. So when I ordered it from Skull, I said, hey, I don't want it like too flashy with a gold because if it like there's, it's too studded, it looked too busy in there. And so I can have that like stance and like, like flush look. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. This is my favorite, favorite absolute interior upgrade that I've done to the car. Okay. This is the M Performance Alcantara race wheel. Mm. So as you can see, there are digital displays. I was there. just gonna say, yeah. yeah. And also if, when you set the RPM limit, these um, LEDs right here, they would actually light, light up and it'll tell you when it hits red, that's when you have to shift. I also wanted to add the um, Autotechnic uh, carbon fiber paddle shifters. Oh. Yeah, and it's a lot longer than stock. It throws it, the you know, the downshift and the upshift a lot, okay. a lot easier. But you don't race in this car, do you? No. No, of course not. No. Okay, but you do go to car meets, and I guess this is very special and unique. Yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Well, how about this? How about we go for a ride in this thing? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. So you mentioned earlier you've had like, what, 10 E30s? Correct. Wow, so do you just like change them up? You get bored with them or what? Pretty much. Um, a lot of my friends know how I am, and so I will build cars and basically get bored of them really fast, and I will just sell them. Oh, okay. So then I guess a lot of folks must come to you and ask you for help since you get so much experience, huh? Yeah, so a lot of people, random people, you know, kind of reach out to me and say, hey, um, I'm doing this build. Um, what, what do you think I should go with, like, for wheels or, like, suspension device or a 
appearance package. So like, it's kind of humbling. Like people know like who I am. They come to me. Um, like I could be like one of their big like, resources out there, and it's free, you know. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then what's going on with the T-shirts? Because this is pretty. It says everything hurts, and then 98. So what does that stand for? So my friends and I actually have started this clothing lifestyle car brand called Medlife. So basically we're a bunch of like 30 or 30 something year olds That's that are- That's not a midlife crisis. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know what, after 30, everything kind of just hurts. Like, <laughs> like Christian was talking about earlier, he hurt his back just like trying to get up from the couch. <laughs> oh God. Okay. And, and so like the, the, the meaning behind this is that um, the cars of the 90s and 80s era that we all grew up in, we still really appreciate. And nowadays, you don't never see those cars anymore. Yeah. And so our focus for that is kind of appreciate those cars, you know, because they are the um, period correct era for the 80s and 90s. And so we come up with like with this clothing brand and kind of, you know, kind of bring homage to, you know, that kind of like tuning days, like the 80s and 90s. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah and then cool. isn't there something to do with Japan? Yes. Oh, so the, the meaning about 98 is the 243, it's the gentleman's agreement. So basically all the cars that were tuned in Japan, like the Supras, the RX-7s, the MR2s, they actually had um, an agreement to lower down their horsepower um, output because a lot of people in Japan, they were cranking out like really fast cars, but people were dying. So, yeah. Okay, and yeah. so when they import them over in the U.S., are they still spec'd that way, or have they, they been tuned down? So they are actually tuned down. So like when you see Supers here, like they, they crank it out to a thousand horsepower, and actually, you know, like from from the stock, they come at like 250 or yeah. 200 some horsepower. So. so then, can I buy your shirt? Yeah, yeah, you can totally buy it. Um, you know, uh, I will post it on the Throttle app, and um, that is. Uh, gonna be probably on my subdomain or something like that. Uh, but it's called Midlife. And besides that, I know you do wedding photography and you do car photography too, don't you? Yes, so I do weddings. It's more of my like bread and butter on like my off days. So I have a regular nine to five job. Um, but my very first passion is actually car photography. That's how I started. Um, I started taking photos of cars. Um, I've had uh, a ton of people like asked me, hey, can you shoot my car? And then it kind of progressed to like, when I started working for corporate jobs and they said, hey, I think you're good in photos, can you just try and take, you know, portraits? Oh. So that, that's how it started. All right, well, I know that there's a lot of people out there who'd love to do like car shoots. Not only that, but like get an exotic car and just like take pics with it for the day. Right. So yeah, I guess they can hit you up for that yeah, also so, if they're interested. Yeah, so I'll be on throttle uh, and it's a real build. Thanks, sir. I had a great time riding with you today. How can people keep in touch with you? Actually, if you like this video, like and share. And um, if you have any questions, um, hit me up on the comments below or shoot me a DM. And also, to make sure that you can see the walk around of Christian's car, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you get notified when we upload it. So thanks for watching and join us next time as Throttle's driving connections and fueling experiences.